Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. It is YouTube Tuesday. We're going to go over some more storms, which are going to head toward us. Uh, we'll look at the rest of the week. We'll go into the weekend. We're going to talk a little bit about Tornado Alley. Um, remember to make sure you like and subscribe. I'm going to do more and more and more and more and more and more on YouTube uh, as the months go ahead. But let's go ahead. Let's dig in see what's going on out there. All right. Look at the storms. More. More storms really blowing up. This is across parts of Iowa into Nebraska. Look at these guys. I mean, these guys are pretty big. So we're looking south of Des Moines. One little guy, uh, tornado warning, just to the northwest of St. Joe. And then from Omaha back to Lincoln, Patrice. Um, man, that's real close to my buddies in Rulo. Nebraska just to the north all right uh, but you can see this complex all the way back through south central parts of Nebraska and then these continue into western Kansas some form of this is gonna head toward us later on tonight it's gonna be a little bit of a breaking band broken band you can even see a few isolated guys one to the southeast of uh, Springfield and then heading up uh, toward Lebanon but nothing going on here as of yet but things will get active as we go through the overnight hours all right let's go through time next few hours we're fine after about three or four o'clock in the morning that band of storms starts to sneak into our northern counties but also look what's happening in our southern counties some isolated showers and thunderstorms start popping up so we're not going to get much of anything until about four o'clock in the morning maybe three o'clock in the morning all right let's keep going through time look how the storms just evolve through time so we get all these storms that pop up around the metro some of these could be strong have some large hail and some gusty winds i think these are overall going to be just pretty good storms and then we got this line kind of coming in toward yates center and sedan so these are really flaring up so here's 6 a.m i'm most likely after i get done with the 10 i'm going to go home i'm going to have a drink and i'm going to go to sleep for about four or five hours and then i'm going to probably get up and we'll do some youtube streaming all right, let's keep going through time. Here's 8 a.m., heavy amounts of rain as these storms really in northeastern Oklahoma, northwestern parts of Arkansas. I think that's going to be where the heaviest rain is. You can see this northern band just kind of falls apart. And then most of this is out of here, oh, by 10 o'clock in the morning. We just kind of switch over to some showers and thunderstorms by that point in time. But that southern band kind of skirts on by as we go through the morning hours now here comes the cold front so by afternoon we may get a few isolated little guys that try to pop up along the front as it works through early afternoon so we got the morning batch again scattered not everybody's going to get rain about 60 percent of us and then these afternoon isolated little thunderstorms and these will stick around through the middle of the after afternoon and then they will start to push out of here all right tomorrow night looks good we drop back to about 58. Thursday in general looks good. I'm going to put a very slight chance for a shower or a thunderstorm to pop up in the afternoon, but I think we look pretty good. And then here we go again. Let's do it again. Thursday night into Friday. Oh my, big old batch diving in. So again, we're going to have a chance for strong to severe thunderstorms Thursday night into Friday morning. Flash flooding will be possible as well as we're going to get some very heavy amounts of rain this will push through and then we finally get a break and things look pretty good but rainfall amounts over the next um, gosh two or three days I think a lot of us are going to average anywhere from one upwards to three inches of rain 80 tomorrow 80, 82 Thursday 83 Friday Saturday looks great uh, slight chance for a storm Sunday but look at the heat really kicking in all right let's switch over to tornado alley I built this graphic a couple weeks ago just haven't had a chance to talk about it all right here's traditional tornado alley and then you have dixie alley dixie alley is the dixie state so this is down through parts of kentucky tennessee mississippi and alabama main tornado alley nebraska kansas oklahoma and then northern parts of texas now this is about 1950 ish now with climate change, I know it's not political, 
it, it actually we are actually getting warmer we're getting heavier rains with climate change tornado alley and dixie alley have shifted a bit so tornado alley has extended farther east so watch how it extends farther east and then dixie alley extends so now traditional tornado alley is kind of parts of iowa parts of missouri omaha wichita joplin tulsa oklahoma city down to dallas but look the difference is the western edge is drying out and so if we go back so if you look out across central and western kansas original tornado alley was in western kansas down through the panhandles of oklahoma and texas and it has actually shifted toward the east look how the yellow has expanded so more states are getting tornadoes on a regular basis and dixie alley has really expanded mississippi down through parts of alabama northern parts of georgia so that's kind of where we're at now it's kind of crazy when you look back at it all right guys most likely as long as these storms don't flop on us i'm going to do a little bit of streaming by tomorrow morning hope you're having a great tuesday i got to get ready for the nine here let's chat soon